Well, I've had a good experience with the LifeTech Cardiac Biosimulator. I've had experience with this for over a year in working with a company called Neocord and putting new cords inside the heart from the apex of the heart. But the important thing about this biosimulator, it can be used in any type of scenario, whether it is transfemoral, transatrial, transventricular. And it perfectly simulates the hemodynamics of the heart. For example, if you have a leaking mitral valve, and now you repair that valve either with a clip or a new cord, then you can look at the hemodynamics. You repair the valve, the blood pressure goes up, the left atrial pressure goes down, the cardiac output comes up, just as you would see in a patient. Now, in a patient who's on cardiopulmonary bypass, you wouldn't see that, but when they come off the pump, you would see all these parameters changing. But with the biosimulator, you can see these dynamically. You can see them exactly as you repair or make a change in the valve. This device uh, emulates directly the human heart. You can use it for looking at the aortic valve, for different transfemoral techniques, uh, whether it's TAVI or a mitral clip. It's, it most closely simulates the human heart of any simulator that I've ever seen. And it's superb for training surgeons, not just young surgeons, but surgeons who are becoming interested in the new technologies. In fact, I think it's essential. In the United States, our residents now have to have a large portion of their training in simulation. And this would be a perfect device for training young surgeons. But now we're training mostly older surgeons who are interested in developing new technology. And it's the perfect device to emulate the human heart and the human condition like none other.